Hey, how's it going? I'm Josh from 91 Tech, and here I have a brand new iPhone 5 never before opened, untouched since it would have been made around 2012, and it will in fact be running iOS 6, as you can see from the picture there. Now, I already do own an iPhone 5 on iOS 6. I even still have the box for it, though I didn't get this one brand new. But you can see it here, just to ignore the fact that it says 12.30 a.m., that's probably a typo. Anyways, very cool phone, but I thought, hey, I would like a silver one. I saw this one was brand new, and while it does feel Feel like a little bit of a pity to open it up after all these years. I think it'll be more cool to have to film and actually look at it than just sitting in this uh, frankly not great condition box. The box itself is okay but the plastic is pretty dirty. It's got a hole here. This definitely hasn't been resealed. I've checked it out. Everything checks out. This was probably just a little tear so nothing to worry about there. Very reliable seller as well. This has just probably been sitting in like a warehouse or something for the last 10 years. And yeah it has been 10 years so I think this thing deserves to uh, finally be released and be able to breathe. We will be unboxing this, but first we do have a sponsor. Before that though, I bought this off of eBay for, uh, it was actually surprisingly cheap. It was $200, Canadian too. Very reasonable for what is a brand new 16 gigabyte iPhone 5. He only had silver. I actually wanted to get a black and slate as well, just to keep sealed, but he didn't have any, so that's fine. I just got the single silver one to unbox on camera. We're gonna cut to that sponsor segment, so we're gonna come back here, unbox this thing, and then take a look at it, see how fast it's running. So over to future Josh to talk about today's sponsor, Narwhal. This is the Narwhal Frio, and if Apple was to make a robot vacuum, this would be it. Last year I actually did a video on Narwhal's previous robot vacuum, the T10, which was the highest funded robot cleaner in Kickstarter history, being the first ever self-cleaning robot mop and vacuum. It gave me so much liberty with that video, and I actually had a ton of fun just going over the history of robot vacuums and making it way too in-depth and retrospective. And so when they said they wanted to send me the new and improved model, I had to say yes, the Narwhal Frio. It is everything last year's model was, but even better better, being able to vacuum and mop, but now you don't even need to manually switch out the modules as it has all of them on at once. It literally lifts up the mop as it goes vacuuming. These Narwhal devices are constantly getting awards and there's good reason for it. They are so convenient and so easy to use. It can vacuum your house, go wash its mops off, and then start mopping your house, and it keeps cleaning itself off as it's needed, so it always does its job right and you never need to manually intervene. The old T10 became a staple in my life at this point, and I'm not kidding, I used it the entire year since I got it. The T10 was awesome, and the Frio is somehow even better. Link in the description if you want to go check it out. It is a huge help to the channel, so I do have to thank Narwhal for sponsoring this video. And even just checking it out, clicking the link does help out, but honestly, I think you might be impressed by it. The quality of life features it has over other robot vacuums just blow them away. And if I had to say one bad thing about Narwhal, now that I have two of these, I can't seem to make them uh, battle to the death. I did tell them that they need to add a battle royale mode, where if you have multiple models, they can slam into each other. They said they would take it under consideration, so I expect that to uh, be in a future update. But for now, I'm pretty darn happy with what I've got here. Go check it out. Link in the top of the description. Back to today's video with the iPhone 5. Okay, so to keep this in relatively, uh, well, I mean, the plastic is in not great condition, but it could probably be cleaned up a little bit. Yeah, it's just kind of some gunk or something on there. Gross. Anyway, <laughs> that's just how it came. But we're gonna try to just slice it uh, kind of like this so we can keep the top plastic on at least. I don't know. I've just seen people do it before, so I'm gonna copy them. Okay, so everything's recording. Make sure I don't miss this. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Yeah, it wouldn't be the first time I've screwed up pretty badly that way. This thing has been sitting in a warehouse probably for like 10 years. Never opened. Hard to believe. This iPhone 5 uh, was very hyped when it first came out. It was the first iPhone to increase the screen size. What's really special about the iPhone 5, specifically that's been untouched, is that it is running iOS 6, which was the last version to have that nice skeuomorphic Steve Jobs era design. So we've pretty much got the plastic off there. I'll just leave that like that for now, actually. That's probably fine. So we should just be able to lift the top off now and keep the plastic on. Oh, uh, come on. Oh, these boxes are always such a struggle. It's been sitting here for 10 years. I recently, oh my gosh, I recently did an iPhone 5C unboxing. I was hoping to get iOS 7, but we got iOS 8 on that one. It was still pretty cool. That was an 8 gigabyte 5C. Of course, the 5C was pretty much the same device as the iPhone 5, but in plastic. This thing is not coming off. Let's see if I can give it some help. Part of the problem is I don't want to rip the plastic because I'm a hoarder. Okay, I think I got it. Let's see. Y'all ready for this? iPhone 5 opened up for the first time ever 10 years after it launched and 
Okay, I didn't drop it. <laughs> ah, all right, here we go. Okay, so right away, first impressions here. What do we got? Now, there's an air bubble there. You might think, uh-oh, maybe it's been resealed. Do you see that little white line? That is definitely Apple-like. This air bubble probably just formed after sitting for 10 years. And if we look at the back, it even has the plastic on the back and it's absolutely just flawless. This has got to be, I don't know if it's my favorite iPhone design, but it's close. And that tall screen was such a big deal. 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So uh, before we take off the plastic, I might actually leave that on for now. Although I guess if I'm going to be getting B-roll, well, well, we'll leave it on for now. Uh, let's see if it turns on. It's <laughs> been sitting for 10 years, so I'm going to say probably not. But we'll give it a shot and we've got nothing. Now I do have to hope here the battery isn't uh, completely dead, as in we'll need to replace it. I've had to do that with brand new phones before and it sucks just because it's been sitting for so long. Sometimes the batteries completely discharge and they become utterly useless but I guess we'll find out I do have a charger here I was charging that 5c on iOS 8 just for comparison's sake weather has been yes weather can use my background info I do not care good to know those annoying pop-ups were still back uh, back on iOS 8 all right plugging in of course this was the first phone with a lightning port as well so that was a big deal and do you see that there it is it's powering so this thing shouldn't be hopefully completely dead we have the battery icon anyway last time I did a phone that had a completely dead battery it tried to boot up it the Apple logo popped up and then it just boot loops forever until I replaced it. So hopefully that's a good sign. Um, so we're going to let that try to turn on and let's go ahead and see what else we get back in 2012. And keep in mind here, this is so much more than what we get today. In fact, let me grab my iPhone 14 Pro box. If I can find it. Oh, here it is. All right. It was in plain sight the whole time. Classic. All right, so this is the iPhone 14 Pro box, and immediately you can just see how much thinner it is. Now, of course, you know, it's it's bigger because it's a much bigger screen. <laughs> There's the footprint. But yeah, you can just see the size difference from the thickness alone. And of course, inside the 14 Pro box, you get barely anything nowadays. You get the lightning cord, you get a tiny bit of paperwork in here, so uh, like a single Apple sticker, you don't even get two anymore. I'm especially annoyed they don't include the brick. That's just, it's ridiculous, honestly. All the environmental excuses, it sounds nice, but truth be told, they just want to save some money. It helps their bottom line. But let's see what's inside this thing. Back when they cared a little more. Thick paperwork, especially compared to now. Sorry if uh, there's hair, by the way. It's bloody dog hair. It gets everywhere anyway. Paperwork, opening it up. SIM tool right there. Very convenient. Do you remember SIM uh, SIM ports? I still have one, but <laughs> a lot of Americans wouldn't. Bonjour! Je commence par allumer votre iPhone et maintenant enfoncer le bouton marche arrêt. Le bouton. Hum, hum, hum. Great 11 French. Yeah, you can tell this is a Canadian phone, by the way. That's why it's in French. I'm not from France. Thank goodness. Am I right? Pretty sure I have French blood, but anyways. Uh, hello. <laughs> uh, welcome uh, to your new iPhone. We'd like to show you around. All right, well, that's cool. I like how you get a thick one for both English and French versus now you get a, a, like a single page, <laughs> if that. Information, more information. Two Apple stickers, look at that, beautiful. And that's it, amazing. And now, of course, <laughs> we actually get accessories. Look at that. So there's the tiny, oh my gosh, it's so small. Tiny, tiny five watt adapter. Were they normally that small? I don't remember them being that small. I probably have like a half dozen knockoff adapters. We're gonna leave the plastic on, cause why not? Lightning cable. Lightning was completely new this year, so very important to have that. And then ear pods. These were the new design for the time. Yeah. Had that older iPod design before that, and these still uh, connect with a headphone jack. I love that they come in this plastic case, you know, it's just like an Apple Touch. They don't do it anymore because, well, environmentally friendly, but of course they don't even include earpods anymore. So that's what you get inside the box. See how this thing is doing? Has it booted up yet? Nope, it is still working on that. So we're gonna have to come back to that. And we're back. So I'm just turning this thing on now. It was on already, but it's been a bit over a day since I last looked at it. So I just temporarily turned it off once it booted up. <laughs> you can hear that classic vibration sound like a bus and there it is iPhone look at that classic setup screen we go ahead you can hear that click look at that all right so I'm gonna put in the Wi-Fi oh it does actually have a sim card inside I wasn't sure so I grabbed an extra one I had but it does have one I'm actually not sure what carrier it is I was told this was unlocked um, yep set up as a new iPhone we're not gonna sign in for now skip this step remember when it was easy to not sign in of course who doesn't sign in right oh yes use Siri definitely <laughs> yeah sure send my diagnostics I want I, I want Apple to know that I'm using this phone all right start using iPhone your iPhone is now set up okay 
Just immediately software update now available. It's probably like freaking out, panicking, like please update. First thing I wanna do though is make sure it doesn't auto update on me because that would be the worst. Huh, this updater fixes a bug that prevents iPhone 5 from installing software updates wirelessly over the air. Interesting. Okay, so this must have been a thing with uh, early iOS 6 and the iPhone 5. I don't remember this. Of course, I never had an iPhone 5 when it came out. Get a general about. Look at that, 6.0. I wasn't expecting to, it to be 6.0. That's actually insane. My other one I thought was crazy enough. This one's 6.0.1. So either it was only updated once or just whoever got it never updated it and it came on 6.0.1, which I think is probably more likely. But yeah, you can see there, I should raise the brightness, I guess. 6.0, that is, that is pretty crazy, come on. So I still got the plastic on there, which is why I'm struggling a little bit. I'm not sure if I'm gonna take that off yet or not. I don't know, there's something cool about leaving that plastic on. Also, uh, for whatever reason, and the lighting in here makes this look kind of gold. This isn't gold, it is silver, even if uh, it looks a little gold on camera. So the, the the this updater thing, people are gonna think I'm stupid for not knowing about this, but yeah, I may, you know what, I may have, um, is this thing jailbroken? <laughs> I may have said it, it is jailbroken. I may have said it so it just never updates. But there it is, iOS 6 and all of its just gorgeous glory, that old design, absolutely love it. I mean, look at that, it's just, ah, oh, it's so nostalgic, you know? And it's so fast too. Uh, this home button's kind of sketchy because it's got the plastic on it. It doesn't really want to work, but uh, remember the old uh, multitasker? Yeah. Yeah, you had, did, you had audio controls here. iOS 6 was a pretty interesting update because it, it didn't change a ton, but a lot of little design things, which I always thought interesting because, you know, they brought iOS 7 the next year. So I always theorized that um, if Jobs had lived, they would have probably have kept this design moving forward for a bit longer and all these touches were probably leftover plans. For example, they gave uh, the music app a complete redesign to this nice dark mode, which uh, you can't see because I don't have music on here. Oh, this one. So like this on iOS 5 looks a lot, a lot more basic. But yeah, this is it. It's uh, obviously fast. I mean, we could mess around a little bit, I guess. Um, let's try, I don't know. I am connected to the internet, so this should open even though I'm not signed in. Yeah, I, I know iOS is, uh, there's new iOS available. I'm gonna have to set this thing. I might jailbreak it just so it doesn't update on me. I don't think it would, but I mean, it's it's loading these fairly quickly, all things considered. You can see that old um, store design. I forgot about that. I wonder, if, uh, I wonder what apps still support iOS 6. I would imagine only just like old ones that were never updated. Like uh, I think I have Flappy Bird over here. Does that, does that work? Oh, it does. <laughs> Look at that. Welcome back, 91 Tech. Thanks. It's been... Oh my gosh. I don't I don't I must have installed this when I first got this thing. I don't even... No, and that that would have been probably five years ago now. Oh, 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 man, that's best forty-three. Okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> uh, it's it's interesting that it's in this um, single column. Does it do it on this one too? I wonder. Yeah, it does that there too. So that must be something to do with how they've updated the app store. I don't think it used to look like this. You know, like everything's just. Um, one column, single file. It still looks almost good in some aspects, but it's just not loading it in properly. Genius. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't have that anymore. Now it just recommends it for you. What else is there? Stocks? <laughs> yeah, there's the old Stocks app. Error retrieving chart. Doesn't know how. It's the old camera, of course. You get that old shutter animation. And uh, it's always pretty nice. Old calculator. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's really fast, but yeah, I was 6.0. If you guys have any recommendations for like some cool stuff I should do with it, I could do a video kind of exploring iOS 6 more uh, in depth. There's not a whole lot to it. It is just bare bones iOS 6. I, I could jailbreak it and mess around with it that way, but I might just leave this phone as is, given it is on 6.0 and it is brand new. Might even leave the plastic on, but I don't think there's too much more to do here. Just really want to unbox this with you guys, and uh, I thought it'd be awesome to have two of these, one in each color. Just iOS 6 looks so good on that 16 by 9 retina display you know like that is just it's just gorgeous yeah i'm glad you guys joined me for opening this thing today it was a lot of fun big thanks again to narwhal for sponsoring this video huge help for me and the channel and i just also really like the narwhal frio so make sure you go check it out link again in the description but with that being said um you can follow me on my socials if you'd like to and we do have a discord too come by say hi and i got a text that i'm not gonna show um because this thing still works. Actually, it dinged me before my 14 Pro by like 10 seconds. That's kind of weird. <laughs> oh dear. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. I'm Josh from 91 Tech and I will see you all next time.